Facebook Adventures. And in this box is something that I have been waiting for for so long. And after seeing these videos... Take a look at this blue Cuban giant anole. Man, these are some of the most beautiful lizards out there. And I really believe that these are going to be the next big thing in lizards. Guys, check this out. Come with me. Here's a giant blue <gasps> beauty and all. Oh my gosh. Is this the ones you guys got? Yeah, yeah, that's our time. Oh my god. Yeah, these are raised outside, so they're not friendly. But when you raise them indoors, they're really tame. And what, tell me, what are these again? These are giant blue beauty and all. It's Anola sequestris podio. Inside of this box, I actually have a very rare mutation of the blue beauty at all, which is the blue line of the blue beauty at all. These males are from David Aldean because we seem to have the only female in the US. David Aldean has been mentoring us on the care requirements and everything else in between for these guys. Yeah. And now we finally hope to breed them. Thank you so much, David, from the Eclectic Reptile. I cannot wait to open sure. this enclosure. So guys, um, about a month ago, we got a very rare adult. She's a blue beauty doll, which is already very rare. However, the thing that makes her even more rare is that she's a blue line blue beauty adult. And guys, she is the only female in the US and we have her. And in this box is a mate for her. So thank you so much. Um, a uh, David Aldean from the Eclectic Reptile. And thank you for these stickers and business cards. So cool. Yeah. So what's in here, honey? In here, we have a head blue line male and a blue line male, a Nolis Equestrian Sportior. So this is the male. So this is the male Hep Blue. Oh, he's so sweet. Yeah. He's beautiful. He's pretty fired up. Yeah. And then try and pack. He's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's about six months old. Oh, okay. Whoa! Whoa. Holy chicken nuggets. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! So this is ours. This is the one we yes. bought. Okay. This one David is loaning us because yes. he's just such a good guy. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me, but oh my gosh. That's so cool. So guys, this guy's only three months old, so he's going to be in a separate enclosure, but look how blue he is. He's firing down a little bit, but we'll have a picture of him when he's like really fired up. And he is the line that we're hoping to breed and make more of. Yes, he's a little yeah, young. He is young. So we're gonna wait for him so to mature a little bit. Hi. Aww. We have two new noise. And this, this guy, guy is visual. the visual blue line. Yeah. I'm gonna open him up, hope he's friendly and he doesn't bite me. This is the baby? Yes. This is the one we purchased. Yes. Hi. We're hoping to socialize it because usually the species is more of a look don't touch. Hi. You're really blue. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. He, they do love okay. ficus, and he's used to ficus with David Eldy. Look at how well blended he is. Wow. Got him. You got him! Hi! Oh, hi, buddy! Hi! Oh, good! He's not terrible with handling. No! I can trust you without gloves. Oh, he's crazy. I really didn't know how he was going to be, so I just got gloves. Yeah. His female, our female is very mighty. So. Yeah. So guys, look at this amazing pattern on him. This is sort of the baby pattern, which will fade out as he gets older. I think we can socialize him fairly well. Yeah, he's not terrible with No. Family. Looks very healthy too. Oh. <laughs> you wanna go back into the ficus? You know, yeah, you can just chill in there for a Sure. He's in there somewhere. He's right there. Okay. Very he's climbing you? Yeah, he's climbing me in. He's, uh, he's going to get my hair. Yeah, he's on your back. Here, jump into the bike. 
Tuck. Hey, how are you doing? Was your flight okay? He's beautiful. Yeah, he really is. Do you want to go take his little, little buddy? So here's the guy that's on loan from David. Thank you so much again, David. Yeah, David and from Eclectic, yeah. Eclectic Reptile. Yes, Eclectic Reptile. You can find him at Warp Market. And I think he has a website. Does he have a website? Okay, he has a website. Mm, we'll find out. Right, okay. If there is, we'll put a link. Yes. So he's on loan from yes. David, which is super sweet. Why is he on loan, honey? So he is a het blue one. So as you can <laughs> You're the tree. I'm the tree. Here. How about the fight this way? Oh, he's on your hair now. Yeah. So what's special? Is he trying to bite you though? No. I think he is. Well, maybe. Oh. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. He is fired up. He's a beautiful animal. Yeah, he really is. So he is actually het for the blue line. Right. And he's about six months old. However, the same size as our nine-month-old female. And look at all these yellow spots coming in. Yeah. That's what our female should have. But she doesn't have that. And that's what makes her special. So guys, this is my no quarantine room. And this is where he's going to live for a little while. Please, if you can, hit the like and subscribe button because then it tells YouTube that our videos are good and it sends it out to more people so that we can teach so many people about these amazing animals. Wow. Do you believe his colors? Do you want to pet it? gorgeous, sure. He might be, it's not my fault. Yeah. Beautiful colors. Yeah, he is lovely. Yeah. Here, little buddy, do you want to go into your new home? Look at that, he's right on the basket platform. Oh, let's take a look. Nice! Very nice. And then here we have a 22 inch um, Arcadia Jungle Dawn. Then uh, we have a 35 watt halogen basking lamp and then right under that. yeah and then we have a, a vivtech uh jungle dot basking uva uvb lamp yeah and then we have a couple of plants here yes as well as a basking spot so yeah hopefully and this is a quarantine so we don't have it bioactive yet nope not yet no not yet bye little buddy enjoy your new home and this is the female that he'll be paired with in the future this is, and unfortunately she's fired down right now, <laughs> she's fired but down. Um, this is our female blue light and she is thought to be the only one in the U.S. Boy, she's really fired down. Daddy, can you please go get her some wax worms so we can feed her and she gets sure. fired up? Sure. Thank you. But she's special. What, what is so special yeah. about her? Buddy? She is the only blue line female in the U.S. When we say blue line, what does that mean? Oh, she's firing up. Perfect. She's firing up. Because she sees you and she yeah. expects food. So she's totally firing up. Yep. What does that mean that she's blue line? Because all blue beauty and so, are blue. Yeah. So if you saw on the head blue male, he had all those spots. And if you've ever seen a regular equestrian sporty or before, they have a lot of yellow spots. Mm -hmm. However, she doesn't have any of that. No. And only a little bit of yellow next to her elbowish, I guess. Yeah. So but what's that's the plan? With all the blue ones. And she's a lot older. Yes. So at this, nine months. she's nine or ten months at this age. She should be turning yellow. But the fact that she's not showing yellow, that means something. Yeah. There. See, she's not showing a whole lot of yellow at her age. What that means is she'll be a solid blue with no patterning except for that little yellow dot. So if you look at the picture up here, this adult has a lot of yellow spots. And that should happen around nine months, but mm -hmm. she doesn't have any no. of that. First, she's got the stripes, but she doesn't have any yeah. spots. And what should her color be turning into right her now? Her color right now should be turning yellow, but it's actually going to turn into a solid blue, which means that she is a blue one. And from what I know, she's the only female that's like this in the U.S. So they're about the same size, and he can easily cohabitate with the female with these guys. You can't put two males together, but you can have females and one male together. And um, now he's going in our big one. enclosure. Yeah, What's the size of this enclosure? 36, 18, 36. All right, and then explain the lighting we've got up here. So here we have kind of the same. We have a Vivtech uh, basket jungle dog lamp, which she absolutely yep. loves. And then we also have um, we have a Repti Zoo 10.0, I think. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then because we it's have such a huge explosion. yes, and then we have a 36 inch Arcadia Jungle Dawn, right? And um, an 80 watt Mercury Vapor. <laughs> oh, she's got her dewlap out. I hope he's friendly to her and she's friendly to him. They're supposed to be able to just go right in, but okay. she is easily stressed. Yeah. I mean, that is one yeah. of the things. You, that's yeah, that's why we wanted to get them when they're younger so that they're not as stressed and they're more sociable. Yeah. And hers is not set up bioactively either no, yet because they're all what in quarantine. Mean, so I'm going to keep them a little separated so that she doesn't get too freaked out. There you go, buddy. You want to go? In your new home. He's there really you lovely. go. He's firing up. He is firing up. Mm -hmm. She is not very friendly. No. Not very comfortable. No. But she fires up when we feed her. Yep, she does. So there he is. I'm gonna feed her a little bit. This should hopefully calm her down. <laughs> yeah, see how she's firing up and I just She's still not completely fired up, but she is, no. she's really blue. I have my little worm. So guys, these are found on a small island called Cayo Santa Maria, which is in Cuba. And what they will do in the wild is that they will lick the dew drops off of leaves to hydrate themselves, and that's how they get their water. Here. There you go. And they can climb glass, can't yeah, they? Yeah, they can. They're not geckos. Where she got a jump. No. Yeah, I know. Um, they're not geckos, but they can climb glass. They do have toe pads just like geckos, but they are not geckos. <laughs> I missed them twice a day and we're going to let them settle in for a few hours. I can't explain to you how amazing these animals yeah. are. And thank you so much for watching Luke's Pokemon Adventures. And remember, every day's a new adventure day. Bye!